So you wanna take the family out for more vacations, or maybe you're just tired of all the hassle that comes with trying to book a hotel, a plane, a train, or whatever the case may be. More importantly, you don't want to have to buy a larger tow vehicle to get more quality time out and about with the family. Guess what? That's great. You're in the right place because today I'm going to go over a few awesome options when it comes to single axle family bunkhouse RVs. So let's get to it. Up first is the RV that turned the industry on its ear, the Coleman Lantern 17B. Coming in at 21 feet 5 inches, roughly 3,000 pounds dry, this slideless beauty will sleep up to 5. As one of the most economical choices for your family camping, you're not going to be missing much when it comes to the features either. You got a queen bed up front that can sleep two, booth dinette that can sleep one, and then you got the twin bunks in the rear off camp corner that can sleep one apiece. The kitchen has got a two burner cooktop, 3.3 cubic foot 12 foot fridge, and a pretty decent sized single basin sink. You do have the fireplace and a wall mounted AC, and the bathroom has a high rise bowl and a shower. So for a small space, it's laid out fairly well for that active family that just needs a good place to sleep at night. And the 28 gallon all around tanks are gonna give you good space if you wanna take those long weekend getaways too. The Coleman Lantern 17B is a great example of keeping it simple when it comes to camping. Very similar in size and weight is my next RV for you. The Jayco J-Flight SLX 174BH. 21 feet 8 inches and just a shade over 3,100 pounds in unloaded weight, the 174BH will sleep up to 5. And the bright interior is extremely welcoming. You got a queen bed up front that'll sleep 2, booth dinette that'll sleep 1, and two twin bunks in the rear off-camp corner that will sleep 1 each. What's unique about these bunks is the weight capacity. How about 300 pounds each? Your kitchen also has a two burner cooktop and an eight cubic foot 12 volt fridge. You also got the tankless water heater in this one, so go ahead and take the nice long shower if you want to, or wash off the dogs in the tub, because your fresh tank holds, get this, 30 gallons. The awning outside, 12 feet long, good for shade when you just want to chill outside. Mixing some awesome upgrades with some creature comforts of home, the Jayco J-Flight SLX 174BH allows you to feel like you're camping simply without really missing anything that you need. Now take everything you've learned so far and I want you to add in some style. At 23 feet long, 4,300 pounds dry, we are still in that towing sweet spot. And the East to West Silver Lake 18 BHLE even gives you double over double bunks right here on the campsite. The kitchen has a recessed two burner cooktop with a glass cover, Roman style square sink, large fridge, and microwave. The booth dinette, which is nestled in its own slide, is oversized for enjoyable eating. And get this, with it being in the slide, it really opens up a nice little dancing floor right there in the living area. The off campsite corner bathroom is more roomy than you think as well. But the thing that the 18 BHLE got really right is the Murphy bed setup in the front. The queen side bed has two spring assisted latches to keep it up and secure. The sofa cushions underneath, they're actually comfortable, and the Murphy bed itself, when it's in the up and stored position, is actually hidden behind a clean looking wall that matches the beautiful, bright interior. It's unique, I gotta tell you, it's pretty awesome in my opinion, and in a coach that can sleep up to seven or eight, this one might be your real sweet spot. So we got features and fun in a won't break the bank family RV. How about yes please? Welcome to the Cherokee Wolf Pup 16 BHS. 21 feet 9 inches and 3600 pounds unloaded of pretty awesome little RV. Yep, you can sleep up to five thanks to the queen bed up front, that's two. Booth dinette, that's one. And twin bunks in the rear camp corner, that's two more. Now the kitchen has some nice features as well. Mainly the prep space. 
The round bowl sink, that's got a cutting board cover, always nice to have. And your cooktop is recessed with a glass cover, giving you more prep space, making it versatile as well as useful. That 10.7 cubic foot fridge will also be useful when it comes to keeping your stuff cold. And the tankless water heater will do a great job of keeping you hot in that shower with the curtain that's on a curve, giving you a little bit more well, movement room, if you will. Cherokee also thought about your entertainment as well. They have this mount called the paw mount. It actually allows you to take the TV from inside to outside if you want to, and you'll probably want to bring that TV outside anyway because you got the pup kitchen right there with the mini fridge and LP quick connect for your grill and griddle while watching the game. Solid steps, tempered glass doors, and a 26 gallon fresh tank. The Cherokee Wolf Pup 16 BHS is pretty stacked for a single axle bunkhouse. These all sound awesome, but can we get them in a fiberglass RV with an aluminum superstructure without going broke? <laughs> oh, absolutely. Enter the Keystone Bullet Crossfire 1700 BH. 21 feet, five inches, 3,500 pounds that can sleep up to six. As soon as you walk into the 1700 BH through the tinted tempered glass door, mind you, you're gonna see right away, this is a different take on the single axle bunkhouse RV. Keystone took everything you need, nothing you don't approach with the 1700 BH. Great storage space, queen size bed up front, large dinette, and a sink that's ginormous. Pretty much a great little kitchen spread, if you ask me. By moving the kitchen area up the camp sidewall a bit and giving you single bunks in the off-camp corner means that the bathroom takes up over half of the rear wall. Pretty good space in an RV that's not even 22 feet long. In this case, I don't think saying bare bones RV is a bad thing because this one has got some great bones. I'm Chris Young for Camping World. Hope you enjoyed five single axle family bunkhouse RVs and be sure to tune in because hopefully we'll have some more, but more importantly, hey, I hope you find the RV of your dreams and happy camping. I'll see you soon.